What I'm going to show you is what should be considered bare minimum for any crankshaft, the procedure it should have gone through if you're purchasing a reconditioned, rebuilt engine, whether it's petrol, diesel, four cylinder V8, whether you're here in Australia or anywhere else in the world, if you're purchasing an engine that has been rebuilt, this is what you should expect has happened to the crankshaft. This is what you want every single time. This is what we do without fail. It is the only way to go. You do not want to reground crankshaft in a diesel and a petrol that is fine in a diesel. You do not want to reground crankshaft. You want a crankshaft that is on size, standard big ends, standard mains. From there, so once it's cleaned, measured, inspected, it's been hardness tested, etc., crack tested if it needed to. The beauty, we sort of have a little bit of luxury where when people book in, they fill out a survey. So we know exactly, I know what tires were on that car, was it tuned, how many kilometers, was it Hilux, Prado, everything you know. So I can see you, you have the history which is important to know. Um, so that's a big start. Then we start by, we linish every journal, um, Make sure that it is correct. It's a three, uh, most of the time it's a three stage process to linish it. That is a linisher, which I'll show you a little bit more of. That's a Scotch Bright belt on it that we use on our journal. So that's extremely important. A big area, when someone does it, if for instance people have rear main seal problems, and this is a big issue, the rear main seal surface area will get a groove in it from the seal. The rubber seal will wear over time a groove in. You can't just put a new seal in top of that, on top of that old groove. If you're people just doing, putting, leaving the crank in the block and not getting it out and servicing it, that is a big no-no. You will still have that groove in the crank. You will still have rear main seal problems down the, down the line, etc. The surface finish of each journal is incredibly important. The first stage is to use a standard belt, which I'll show you, which will take material off. So you do need to be careful if you are using a belt of this description. It will remove material. That is why we use it on the rear main seal area to take some material off to get rid of the groove, which is extremely important. From there, we will use, as I showed before, a scotch bright belt, um, which it will not take material off as a rule. It will simply give you a surface finish that you, that you require. The last thing you want is any grooves at all in the Conrod or the main bearing journal, especially the Conrod bearing journal, because if it has grooves, highs and lows in it, that will wear into the bearing. It's no good, you also need heat transfer, so surface area once again to remove heat. So heat transfer is important as well. So you won't get that if, if the surface finish isn't correct and none of that, it doesn't, it is not good for performance. You really need th this surface area to be as smooth as you possibly can as far as the journals goes. Not necessarily the rear main seal area, but the journals need to be as smooth as you can. It's like polishing the bottom of a boat going through water. There is friction and drag that will be created if the surface finish isn't, um, isn't what it should be. So spending a bit of time going through, running it, that's why we run a cork belt at the end. Every journal is, is then linished with a cork belt. The cork belt is obviously a lot softer and it will polish that journal to get it as smooth as we possibly can to get the finish you require. Therefore, you're not losing performance, economy, etc. through all these little things add up. All these little differences you make is the reason why people get in a car that you just put a new engine in and go, wow, how much better is this? It's because of all the little areas that will rob you of power and performance, economy, everything else, or all get put to where they should be. And it does at the end of the day, when you get in that vehicle and drive it, it does make a massive difference. That's why it is worth spending the time doing it correctly, making sure your seal surface areas are perfect. That way you're not gonna have problems. It's incredibly important, like I can't stress it enough. Any crankshaft style failure it is devastating. It's massive. If the crankshaft fails, it's engine out. It's not like you had to put a litre of oil in it in 10,000 Ks. This is over. You're sitting on the edge of the road, you've got a loud knock, so it is important to make sure you jump on top of this and get it right. Make sure whoever you bought the engine off did this right. Don't just go to someone that has just jammed a set of standard pistons in it and you'll be fine. You'll pay the same amount of money virtually in the end. All you get is a lot less quality job. So it's very important. If there's any way I can help, please give me a call.